Web5 is complicated, but it doesn't have to be. The only reason it's centered around Bitcoin is probably because Dorsey's bags are heavy. If you're new here, I'm Kat, and today on Eat the Blocks, I'm going to show you what the future of the internet actually looks like. Total decentralization is a bad idea and Bitcoin has glaringly obvious problems. While it makes sense to transfer assets or value over the blockchain, it's better to handle less important activities like updating your Facebook profile, for example, via a centralized backend that relies on decentralized microservices. This way, your end users are not plagued with an annoying amount of transaction fees and you can front the cost of activity where it makes sense, such as pinning your profile to IPFS. I personally hate having passwords for literally everything, however, a very obvious solution has been in front of us the entire time. Non-fungible tokens. Whenever I finish making a dApp that requires an owner to come in and manage backend server settings, my goal is to effectively do away with login credentials by using an NFT-based sign-in protocol to identify me instead. If you're interested, I might cover it in a future video. Social security numbers are used by the United States to issue and manage the identities of its citizens. These are used by individuals to interface with the government for activities like receiving public benefits or voting. In the future, this verifiable credential is likely to be stored on a smart contract in the form of an NFT. In this case, accessing a physical voting booth, if they're still relevant, can be as simple as signing a message by tapping a card. Traditionally, you would need to continuously pay the cost of either database server maintenance or for a third party to do it for you. There's a lot of different billing methods that these service providers use, but almost none of them are attractive to me. For example, Google's cloud storage solution allows you to upload or ingress as much data as you want for absolutely free, but if you actually wanted to use that data, you'll be incurring egress fees on top of the existing storage fees. These fees even change based on the destination of the data. Identity management and record storage on the blockchain is much more sustainable in the long run because you potentially only have to pay a fair ingress fee once with no recurring charges for storage. This fee is not at all personalized and only based on network demand. Additionally, you have the ability to read from it whenever, wherever, and for free. If you have any questions, found this video inspiring, or you're interested in my DID NFT protocol, feel free to let us know in the comments, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video.